Hello everybody, JT Bear here. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to take a look at uh, a slightly, I don't know, a creative option if you will. I've been asked to uh, show people what I would do with a larger version of a no power system if I had the space. Um, I explained all I've got is a whiteboard for that and that's okay. So that's this video. Stay tuned. So the basic no power concept is, you know, base, you water it by hand, right? It drips out at whatever rate into your fish tank and you're good to go. Okay, this works fine for individual plants and, you know, board gardeners. But for something larger, you know, even five or six or seven or however many coffee cans I've got in place here now, it, it gets to be a bit of a pain in the butt, right? So, what would you do for a larger garden? So what we've got here is uh, a quick sketch that is unfortunately about as good as I'm going to be able to do for you of what I would do. Start with your basic water tower, well braced, you know, very sturdy construction, massive water storage on the top of it. This rope pump here, this is a fantastic video, I'm going to link in the description, but basically you pull on the rope and uh, it pulls the water up the side, it empties out the T, the rope comes back out the top, goes back down, hand powered a little bit quicker. If you're looking to fill that much of a reservoir, you're going to want something quicker. Now, coming out of that, you're going to want like a ball valve or something to uh, control the rate at which it comes out, right? Because that's got to last however many hours or days or whatnot until the next time you can get out there and refill it. And then you've got your garden beds. Got to be gravity fed. You want that water you know, naturally running down towards your fish tank. Suppose my suggestion for this would be a variation of dirty aquaponics. I know it's not true aquaponics, but soil is going to act as a sponge. And through capillary wicking action, whatever you want to call it, it's going to draw that moisture up, keep your plants nice and happy, even with the uh, slow flow from your water tower. As that passes all your uh, plants, you know, it's eventually going to get to the end where it straight drains down into your fish tank. You know, start with one fish, whatever works for you. From the fish tank, you've got your uh, overflow into the sump tank. You want to make sure that uh, draws from the bottom so you're getting any fish waste. Go straight into your actual sump tank. I would think uh, dividing this would be the best way to go. So you've got your biofilter on one side. It's going to go through all of that before it ends up drawn up by your rope pump to fill the water tower. Now with a little creativity, this rope pump could probably easily be powered by some sort of wind device or, uh, you know, if it's really hot and not all that windy, maybe even something that uh, thermal powered, you know, takes a little of the heat differential and turns some blades like those old um, uh, candle shades, lantern shades that used to spin when you light the candle underneath it, the heat of the candle would make it spin around. If you've seen Sleepy Hollow, then you've got an example of what I'm talking about there. But anyway, you know, as crude as it is, that would be the larger scale, no power aquaponic garden, kind of sketched out. I really hope this helps uh, the individual who is asking, and uh, you know, anyone else who might be interested in the future. So, yeah, clearly this is not tested, right? But the logic seems pretty sound based on what I've done so far. Now bear in mind there are about a million and one places that something like this could go wrong. So uh, I am not responsible if your plants die or your fish die, but it is an interesting idea and I figured it's best to put it out there and get some other people working on it too. You know, what do you guys think? What's the best way to improve this? Throw it down in the comments below and uh, also check in my description below. I'm going to uh, throw up a link to this rope pump. It's really quite cool. Those guys have an excellent system there. Doing. Um, NFT, I believe, for their aquaponic system. Definitely worth checking out. So, that is it for me. I'm going to talk to you guys later. Have a fantastic week. See ya.